All right, what's up, guys? Today, I want to talk about 10 Jordans that I think need a return in 2026. We've already seen the list of what they are hoping to bring out for 2025, and the list is crazy. Tons of OG heat, but I do think there are some sneakers that they missed that probably need a return sooner than later. Now, this is my list. This might not necessarily be your list, and that is completely fine. I'd love to hear what you think should make a return as well. Without further ado, I want to jump right into this. The first shoe here is the Mellow 2. Now, I'm going to make a little kind of a potentially controversial take. Jordan already tried to bring back the 2. We know the 2 is already a tough sell. It's always been a tough sell. Since I started collecting almost 25 years ago, people didn't really like 2s. Then when they tried to do it a few years ago, they brought back all of these Jordan 2 colorways. Some we like, some that were new that... Probably weren't that great, but they didn't bring this back. These last came out, I believe, in 2018, but they've only seen one retro since the OG in, I think it was like 2004, 2003, early 2000s. But wouldn't you think if you want to bring back the Jordan 2 and bring back a lot of excitement, this was a colorway that people liked. Wouldn't you want to bring this shoe back? This is my opinion. We didn't see the retro again of this shoe. It would have been like six years, five years. I think it's kind of due. All right, sticking with the Jordan themes, this shoe... Last release in 2015, OG pair, hair sevens, classic, right? MJ wore them on court. Everyone likes the shoe. Jordan had another opportunity to bring back the seven, which they tried to do. They brought back almost every colorway except these and a few others that I'm about to talk about. And then they introduced a whole bunch of Jordan seven colorways that nobody wanted, nobody asked for. This is a fantastic sneaker. There's a ton of people that love this shoe. To not see it come back with that huge attempted resurgence of the Jordan 7 it was very confusing to me. I was anticipating this for, to come back. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a clean shoe. Even if you're not a huge fan of the Jordan 7, you can't really go wrong with the suede on each of the panels, the all white. I mean, bringing this back for like a summer shoe, this would have been the shoe. I'm going to stay in the year 2015 with the Jordan 7 Bordeaux. Now, the Jordan 7, not the most popular model by any means. We all know this. But to not bring back such a key model that Jordan wore, that people got excited for, was really strange. Again, the 2011 retro, if you guys remember, uh, at least in my opinion, was way better quality. And then the 2015 dropped, and I think people were disappointed, myself included. The material creased like crazy on this shoe. But classic colorway, and they really should have brought it back by now. All right, another OG pair, the Jordan 10 Chicago. Now, this one came out in 2015. As you can see on the side, it has that 45. Obviously, a nod to Jordan when he came back wearing the 45 jersey. And this shoe, honestly, people were kind of mixed on. The quality of the leather was really, really good, in my opinion. But I think people just wanted to see the OG Jordan 10 come back. Possibly have that OG treatment with that inner lining. To me, didn't bother me. I love this shoe. It's probably one of the only Jordan 10s that I actually do like. I know the steels are coming out. I like these way better. I mean, 2015, it's been 10 years now, right? So I think these are definitely due. If you're going to bring back the Jordan 10, you got to bring back the Chicago's. All right, this might be a hot take, but the Jordan 21. The Jordan 21 came out in 2006, but we know there's been a ton of hype around some of these older models that I think people like myself that were collecting back then, and even the new generation, they just want to get excited about new stuff, have shown some interest in. We saw that with the Jordan 17 Lightning that came out. I think the Jordan 17 Powder Blue or University Blue is about to come out, and there's a lot of excitement around some of these models. I think Jordan's doing that in a good way. They're releasing very, very tight numbers. It sells out. The resale skyrockets. Some of the hype people want to get involved because they see the value. But other people that just want it because it reminds them of the early 2000s also want to get involved. I think also what we're seeing is this whole, like, obviously this Y2K resurgence, right? I'm wearing baggy clothes and baggy pants right now. That's something I was wearing 20 years ago. But people are also dressing in that manner. And a lot of sneakers uh, have to do with the type of pants that you're wearing. Remember the Jordan 1 hype also coincided a lot with like skinny jeans, right? Slim cut skinny jeans with the rips and then you could kind of stack them with the socks. The whole slim silhouette looked very, very nice with that style of pant. Back in the early 2000s, we were still wearing very baggy clothes and this would be a shoe that you could wear with it. The Jordan 21, specifically that red colorway, I think there's a graphite colorway. They got to bring all those back, man. I think people would really enjoy those. All right, I mean, follow me for a minute. I've been doing YouTube videos for like over 10 years now. It's kind of wild, but... I always said in my videos, my favorite Jordan of all time is 
the Jordan 13. Now, now, this shoe right here last released in 2017. So by 2026, we're looking at about nine years. I think it's time for this shoe to really re-release again. The Bread 13 is probably one of the best Jordan 13 colorways. It's not my favorite colorway, but it's definitely one that every single time it comes out, I got to pick up a clean pair. 13 is super underrated shoe. Some people love them, some people don't. But this shoe right here definitely needs a retro. All right, and this shoe, I was a little bit kind of like, uh, maybe it's been a little bit soon, but I do think it could release again and people wouldn't be mad at it. Candy Cane 14, also known as the Rip Hamiltons. Now this shoe, super clean. I mean, if you drop these in the summer with the shorts and the white socks, I mean, this shoe right here is so crazy. I think people are ready for the 14 to make a big, big moment. I think every 14 that has released in the last few years that they kind of sprinkle in always does really, really well and sells out and people love them. Why not bring back some of these OG colorways and this one is would just be crazy. People would love it. This is a banger. It's always been one of my favorite Jordan 14 colorways, especially in the summer. It just looks so good. All right, and let's take it back to a Jordan 7 model. I talked a lot about Jordan 7s. Again, I think they missed the boat on this one big time. People call them the Charcoals. People call them the Raptors. I call them the Raptors because, you know, in Toronto, when we were wearing these, everyone always called them the Raptors, right? This is definitely one of the best Jordan 7 colorways, hands down, just my opinion. But that charcoal looks so, so good. If they could bring back the OG with like some of the white piping around the shoe, mm, it would look crazy. This shoe last came out 2012. So well overdue. Another shoe that people are talking about and asking for a lot, even in 2012. I remember this shoe was hard for me to get, and that is way before all the crazy hype that we see today. And we talked a little bit about Jordan 14s, but this right here needs no introduction. The last shot, 14, and this pair right here, as you can see, completely unwearable, uh, completely separated on me. I need, I need to get these glued up or something, make a video on that. But the quality on this pair is so good. Like the inner lining, if you guys ever felt one of these, has this like really, really nice, nice long-haired suede, the leather was always so good on this shoe. These last came out in 2018. So yes, it's only been, as of right now, six years. By 2026, it'd be eight years. So it's probably a shoe that we can expect to make some sort of comeback soon. And again, as I said, Jordan 14s, they do so well. Why not bring back the best colorway of all time? All right, and I've shown you guys so many Jordan 7s, but this is the last shoe, the Olympic 7. Again, why not bring these out when you brought back the Vachetta Tan colorway and all of these other Jordan 7 colorways that were just so terrible? This last came out in 2012, okay? As of right now, it's been 12 years, and they're still holding up really great. That's the one thing about Jordan 7s. These things hold up really, really well. All right, you guys, that's it. Really quick video. I wanted to highlight a few shoes in the collection. If you have your own opinion, I'd love to hear it. I'm definitely missing a few. I want to do a video on a lot of the Jordan pairs I have after Jordan 14, 15, 16, 17s, 18s. I have a few in my collection I'd love to show you guys. Let me know in the comments what shoes I missed and what sneaker videos you want to see. I have a huge collection that I'd love to show you guys. I'm just having fun with this video stuff, guys. I appreciate you watching. And if you're not subscribed already, definitely hit that button. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.